Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Wakelin and I am here for pickup truck plus SUV talk and Tim is not. That's because Tim is in Nebraska in a cornfield somewhere, but I am in New Hampshire and that was where the story was, so he asked me to film this video. I am at New Hampshire Oil Undercoating, which does exactly what its name says. It puts an oil undercoating on your vehicle to keep all of the chemicals and salt and junk they put on the roads during the winter from eating the undercarriage of your car. You may have seen that happen to Tim's F-150. So we're here to talk to these guys about how to keep that from happening, what the process is, how much it costs, how often you need to do it. So hang out with me for a few minutes. We're gonna find out everything you need to know about oil undercoatings. Okay, so here we are at New Hampshire Oil Undercoatings. See, I'm gonna go up so you can see the sign. And who do we have here? Hi, I'm Joey DuPont. And Joey, tell me who you are. So my family started this business about nine years ago. Me and my dad had an F-250 that rotted out and uh, there we were replacing the panels, thinking about how we could avoid that next time. And we started this business. And so now you have, I'm gonna pan around, now you can breathe because I'm taking you off camera. We're inside of this bay and we have in front of us here an F-150. But as you can see, it's probably not a new F-150. Joey, what, what are we looking at here? Tell me what we got. This is a 2013 F-150 that we bought brand new. And uh, from the day we got it, we learned our lesson from the last truck and we've been undercoating it since day one. So tell me how many uh, miles are on this. This truck has about 117,000 miles. 117,000 miles, and I can vouch living in New Hampshire that we have a ridiculous amount of junk on our roads. Okay, so Joey, now we're in front of your F-150. Let's go underneath this yep. and show me what happens here. So what are we looking at underneath here? Basically a lot of oil. <laughs> the, <laughs> this truck has been undercoated every single year since 2013, so it has many, many coats of oil on it. Uh, and then there's buildup on top of the oil. So after we spray a vehicle, you drive it, you get light dust that sticks to it, it creates a layer of buildup, and it helps next year's coat to hold on even stronger. So you would do this, is it typically once a year that you need to do this typically. to protect everything? Typically, it's once a year if you drive the vehicle on a regular basis. Okay. There are some exceptions if you don't drive it in the winter, maybe every two or three years. So now, has this, this vehicle seen mostly like road use? Has it been a little bit everywhere? What's the scoop? Yeah, a lot of road use. I mean, it was a daily driver for many years. It's driven on a dirt road. It's always sat on a dirt driveway, which we know is harmful to a lot of vehicles. And we did pull and tow a lot with this truck. Okay, so what happens if you touch this? Is this does this just come off, or is it really yeah, stuck we there? We come to a spot okay. right here. Let's come in here. So there you see yeah. all the buildup, and then underneath it, it's oily, but it's clean black painted metal. That's factory paint. On so it. instead of having this horrible rusty mass, you just have the oil on top underneath. It's this nice shiny truck. That's right. Cool. Now, do you, how do you get? I mean, it's. As you spray this on, I get that as you're spraying it on underneath here, the spray hits everything. How far into all these little nooks and crannies do you get? We go in all of them. So your rocker panels here, you could see we pull tape out of and we go inside the rockers, we go inside the frames, cross members, basically every cavity that we can find. And we use a fogging gun that blows an oil mist deep inside it. Uh, so you use a fogging gun to get into all those nooks and crannies? Yes, and then we use an airless gun to put a heavy coat on the outside of everything that takes the most wear and tear. Now you show me something neat on the outside. Let's come back around here. So when you look at this, it kind of just looks like it's dirty, but there's a point to leaving this on here so people can see this little bit of like black on the edge. What are we looking at? So that is the oil creeping from the inside of the door all the way to the outside. So it's a good thing because it's showing that the oil undercoating is doing its job. That's right. It can creep six to seven inches in the summer. Now, it does make your truck look dirty. And I mean, a dirty truck is often a truck that's having fun. Will this come off Absolutely. if you wash or are you stuck with having your truck always look a little bit messy? No, no, you can absolutely wash it off. Uh, you just take a pressure washer and soap and water and it'll come right off. Okay. It could do it a few times in the beginning right after the vehicle's been sprayed, which it's normal, but you just wash it and you'll be good. And it comes right off. So 
you did this, you said, the second you got this vehicle, you guys put this oil undercoating on because you don't yes. want it to be a rust bucket after seven years in the New Hampshire winters. Yes. What if you didn't? What if you had waited a year or two years and there was already some corrosion underneath there? Are you, is it like, forget it? Or can you still help by doing that even on a vehicle that already has a little bit of rust under there? Nope, that's not a problem. You can spray this over rust. The oil doesn't kill the rust, but it will soak in and penetrate into the rust, cutting off oxygen and moisture getting to it and stop it. Now, of course, if the rust has gone all the way through the metal, it's only gonna slow it down at that point. But uh, for the most part, you can almost do any vehicle. So it's best to do it when it's new, but even if your vehicle's old and already has some rust damage, it's all right, you can still do this and it will help. That's right. That's right. Um, and we said a couple of times, we're in New Hampshire. Most of the country is not here, tiny little state that we are. You can get that process done here, but what happens if somebody wants this done and they live in California or Utah or out in the cornfields with Tim out in Nebraska? So most of the northern states in the country, we have authorized applicators there. And if we don't, you can go on our website. If you have an air compressor, you can buy a DIY kit and spray it yourself. So if you're industrious, you can do it, but you can probably find some place that'll do it for you. Yes. Now, how about cost? How much does it typically cost to have it done? Does it matter whether you're doing the undercarriage of a truck or a tiny little SUV? What's, what's the deal on that? Uh, it can vary. Everyone has their own prices, but the average going rate for a pickup truck is usually around 250. Okay, 250. So that's not too bad. It's not this horrific expense that's gonna break the bank. It's like an average, you know, just do it as part of your yearly maintenance. And it's an easy enough thing to do, cool. Okay, so we've answered a lot of the sort of basics of it, but can we actually see somebody do this? That's right. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna take a break. We're gonna walk over to the other garage. This place has very many locations in this little facility and we're gonna see how we do this. Okay, Joey, so now we're over where the magic happens. So what is the truck behind you? So this is a 2003 Ford F-250 that's never been treated before. Never been treated. So it has been on the roads, math, 17 years in New Hampshire roads. Yeah. So what do we have on this? So we're, we're about to find out, I guess. Yeah, right? But for so... starters, you can see the doors, which is one of the areas we hit. You can already see the bad corrosion. Now, depending on how bad this is, you might have to have a few spots touched up. We're gonna treat the doors anyways today to stop and slow down most of this rust. So as bad as this is, and this is pretty bad, this can still help. It's obviously not gonna repair any of this, but it will stop this from getting any worse? Yeah, Okay. at least slow it down. And he can have certain spots repaired and then we'll just treat it again after. Treat it again, okay. And I like this, I need you to comment on this tarp that's over this. So why is there a tarp over this vehicle? So as you can imagine, we spray a lot of vehicles in here and there is a certain amount of overspray in the air. So this at least keeps their windows clean. <laughs> so, so when you're done, what can you expect? Like you were talking about that you, the oil drips a little bit afterwards. There's four main things to expect when having an undercoating done. Number one, there's gonna be a little bit of smoke. You get some overspray in the exhaust. It's non-flammable, so it's got a really high flash point, so it's not a problem. You just gotta let it smoke off 10 or 15 minutes. There could be some dripping. It's usually very minimal because our oil's thick, but anything that's on, any of the oil that's on hot components, it could loosen up, you could have a little bit of dripping. Then you wanna stay away from undercarriage car washes once it's done, because not the water, but the pressure can wear it down faster. For how long do you have to avoid? Honestly, I would wait until after winter and the salt's all gone, late spring, early summer, and you know you're gonna be coming back in for another appointment. Then you can wash and do what you want for the summer till you have it undercoated again, and then I just leave it alone. Because so there's no point in wearing it down quick. Could you get like an exterior wash, like just so you yes. don't have that horrible salt crud, but just not the undercarriage? Skip that extra $5 at the car wash? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. And uh, and that's pretty much it. That's all there is to know. That's it. Okay, so next we're going to take this vehicle. We're going to put it up and we're going to kind of see how this works, right? We'll find out. Okay. Okay, so now we're underneath this truck. It has seen better days, correct? That's right. So yeah. show everybody, like, look at what we have here. Well, you can see this for starters here, this is classic to all the Ford trucks having this big hole right here into yeah. the rocker panel. Um, he's had some fixed and you can even see he's put some styrofoam. There was, there was some creative engineering yeah. to keep parts of this vehicle together. So when you say that you can put this on something that is already rusted, 
here's your proof. And you're gonna do, this is the truck you're gonna do right now, right? That's right. Okay, so see, even if your truck is not perfect and shiny and looks like this, it'll still help. So you were talking about how this works when you have an older vehicle like this with tons of rust. How is that process gonna work? So we'll try to descale and get what we can off the loose rust, okay? But what will happen is, ultimately not everything's gonna come off that's rusted. So as the oil soaks into it and penetrates over the course of a year, it's gonna loosen some of that stuff up. So a lot of people will notice pieces falling off their truck. And don't panic. And don't have to panic. It just happens when it gets behind the paint, bubbling paint or whatnot, to get to the rust. So when the truck comes back after a year, we'll blow it off. It will come off very easy once the oil got, has gone behind it, and then put another coat right back over it. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna let you get all suited up and we're gonna see how this is done. Sounds good. All right, so this gun here, this is, we're gonna be using the black oil. This is our airless setup. So this is running off of one of those drums that you saw outside there. And I'm gonna do the outside of everything with this gun. And then we're gonna use a separate gun after to go inside all of the cavities. Okay, so this is step one. Yes, so we'll start with this area here. You can see how rusted it is. That's black tinted oil. Okay, so there you go. That's step one, okay. Okay, so now what are we doing up here? So we're gonna just continue spraying, hitting the whole front end. So it's, it has gotten into every last nook and cranny. And there we go. So this is what the process is doing to protect your vehicle. Okay. So if you can see him down the end of the truck, now he's gonna do the rest of it. And basically he's just gonna spray the entire thing front to back. And this is like all the, the majority of the undercarriage, like the big bits. After they do all this, then they'll go inside and we'll show you how they do sort of the nooks and crannies. But yeah, this is how it is. It's the spray gun, him under there, getting in there and getting every last bit of it covered with oil. So this gun here is what we use to get inside all the cavities. You see there's two lines going to it, so it does air and product and it mixes it right here in this chamber. So I pull the trigger and halfway it just does air I pull it all the way, it does air and product. So I can totally control it and not get too much in the cavities. And this is how we work our way in the rocker panels. You can see that the other end coming out. Now this oil that we're using, this is our clear mouse out oil. So it's got a strong peppermint menthol scent added to it and rodents don't like peppermint. I can't smell peppermint. <laughs> Should I well, be able to smell it? Or is it like rodent peppermint levels? It's, it's, <laughs> we try not to make it too strong so it's offensive. So it's not offensive, but we're only using it inside the cavities. Okay, so you were just showing me to have you show. So you're putting the oil, oil way up here and it's, it's or the, what is it? The oil. Oil. Yep. So you're putting it way up here and it's shooting so far, I'm gonna try and pin so you can see it goes all the way to the front of the truck. That gets yeah. up over the rear fenders where you see a lot of that rust and the bubbling. So then I'm gonna go back in from the other side and spray it until it comes out of here. Got it. Okay, so what is this that you're about to show me? So this product is our wheel well guard, basically, it's a thick, heavy grease, almost like the consistency of Vaseline. And we put it in high stress points. So for instance, this truck here has no plastic fender wells in the rear wheel wells. And I have a gun that's actually gonna spray this and we're gonna spray the rear fenders. Okay, let's see how it works. Go for it, tell me what we're doing. All right, so now we're gonna spray 
Uh, this is the driver's side rear wheel well. And we have our lighting guy coming up. Oh. Ethan, run, run. Yeah, you gotta be able to see it. So you can see what's gonna happen. You can see how it looks, and then he's gonna play it. Now it's like this thick black coating. He's playing it. <laughs> but it's gonna make your truck stay in one piece. That's right. <laughs> so what are we doing here? Now we're taking our same gun that we use to get inside all the cavities underneath, the fogging gun. And we're gonna do inside the doors, uh, hinges, corners. We're gonna do that on both sides. On both sides. Okay, show me how this works. And you can see these rough door these yeah, doors are in rough are. shape. We saw this earlier. This door is seen better day, so it is severely rusted. So I took off some of the weather stripping here to expose the factory drain holes. So now I'm just going to stick this inside. And you can see it coming out the other end. I'm going to go inside the whole door. You can see it coming out the window too. Oh yeah. You have to see a little fog and it already coming up. And that's mostly air with a little bit of product I'm doing. And then we okay. do it from the other side. Through the corners. Voila, this one's done. There you go. So as we're showing all these bits and pieces, there's really nothing that these guys mix, miss. What are you doing now? Tailgate. Do you ever see the tailgates with the rust at the bottom edge of them? Yes. So this is what we're treating them for. Okay. Water gets in, and I want to get the inside bottom of the tailgate, because that's where all the water drains out of. Every okay. truck has drain holes in the back of their tailgate here. And this one's got some good rust already back there. <laughs> so 90% of the trucks have factory holes. You can get right inside the tailgate through here. Okay. So I'm going to go in both sides, and then I'm going to get the hinges and the whole back lip of it. Awesome. Let's see. Again, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can occasionally see stuff shooting out the other end. So it really is going all the way to the other end of the tailgate. Okay, and last but not least, That's what are right. we doing now? A few spots under the hood. So we're gonna do inside the hood door, hood latch, battery terminals. But the most important thing we do under the hood is get into these fenders. And this gets above the plastic in your front tires. Okay. That big open space, this is how we access it. Okay, go for it.
Okay, so where do we stand on this truck? It's all done. We did the black oil undercoating on it. We did the wheel well guard inside the rear wheel wells. Uh, and that's it. It's all done. Hopefully so we'll see him again in another year. So he's all good for a year and won't be as rusted when it comes back. Nope. Won't and be it, worse than it was when it came in because it was pretty bad. Nope. <laughs> it only took one hour, so you just sit and wait. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we have some samples of what actually goes in your truck. So what do we have here? So this is the black oil, the most common. Uh, they're the same thing. This just has a tint to it. Um, same viscosity. Yeah. But we try to make it thick enough to eliminate as much dripping as possible. Okay. And then this is the clear. Same thing. Same thing. Just so same thing, just one clear one. Yeah. Yep. So this was just an opportunity for you to play with stuff like your finger painting, right? <laughs> <laughs> My fun time. Your fun time. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that was our time at New Hampshire Oil Undercoatings. You saw what happened. You saw what they do. You saw that really rusty truck, what it got to keep it from getting any rustier. You can find out all sorts of information about them if you go online. They have places all over the country that can do this for you. And thank you for tuning in. You can subscribe. You can watch a video that Tim has about what his F-150 looks like and why he probably needs to do this. And I'll see you down the road.